Hi, welcome to today's math lesson. Today's Friday, October 16th, and today we're going to be learning about GCF. Before we begin, please pause the video and get your capture sheet for Friday, October 16th. You will need that for today's lesson. Okay, once you have the capture sheet, please move on to the warm up. Go ahead and pause this video while you complete the warm up. And then when you restart, there will be an Ed Puzzle question for you. Okay, hopefully you answered that Ed Puzzle question correctly. Now let's go over the answers to the warm up. I already have them written on the screen. So just go ahead and um, check and make sure you got the same thing. It doesn't necessarily matter how you get to the prime factorization as long as your prime factorization is right. I'll show you what I mean. For problem A, there are two possible, there were two possible ways you could have done this, probably more, but the important part is that you reach the conclusion that your prime factorization has two threes and two twos. Same thing here two threes, and two twos. Okay, that's for problem A. Moving on to checking problem B. Your prime factorization of 180. Okay, moving on to your prime factorization of um, 42. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, you have another Ed Puzzle question, and that Ed Puzzle question is open ended. Please write, What is a factor? All right, thanks for answering the Ed Puzzle question. Remember, factor times factor equals product. So a factor is a number that can be multiplied by another number in order to get a product. All right, so GCF stands for greatest common factor. See, GCF, greatest common factor. What does that mean though? Let's talk about it. So greatest means the largest. Common is like the number that they have in common, so the same. And we just talked about what a factor was. So great, GCF is the largest factor that two numbers have in common. This will make a little bit more sense as we do a practice problem. So here's our first practice problem. And you will see it is under the lesson the red lesson header on your capture sheet. As you complete the capture sheet, please fill in the box on the right that says steps to find GCF. Okay, it'll be outlined very clearly for you in this video. Here we go. Step one, factor trees. So you need to make a factor tree for each of the two numbers that you're trying to find the GCF of. Okay, so uh, make those factor trees. Pause the video right now. Okay, you should have made those factor trees. Here are the answers written in pencil for you. These are the prime factorizations you should have gotten. For 50, you should have two fives and one two. For 40, you should have one five and three twos. Okay. Now, step two, circle numbers in the PF. PF is prime factorization. Circle the numbers that are the same. Be careful. Pause the video, write this down on the side under the steps to find greatest common factor. Pause it. All right, here we go. So here we have the prime factorizations. 
of each number in case you forgot this is for 50 this is for 40 so it says circle the numbers that are the same all right so we have the two prime factorizations all right and we want to circle the numbers that are the same at first you might think oh that's easy because they're all the same but we have to be a little bit more careful you can only circle you can only circle them when they're in groups. So I'm going to circle this 5 and this 5. But I cannot, I cannot circle this 5 because there's no other 5 to circle on the, on the other prime factorization. So no, 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 we don't get to circle you. All right, so we're just going to leave that one blank. Now we get to circle another number. We get to circle this two and circle one of the other twos from the other side. Now, you'll notice that the circled numbers on each side are the same. You have a five and two circled on both sides, and you should be doing this on your own paper also, okay? You should be doing this on your own paper. Pause if you need to. So the circled numbers on both sides are the same, okay? Five and two on each side. Now you'll notice we have a bunch of numbers that are not circled, right? Like these, that one, and these guys, right? That's because they don't have a match on the other side. They don't have a match on the other side. So the ones circled in purple are the um, correct numbers to circle, okay? That's a little confusing. It will make more sense as we do more practice problems, okay? Now, step three, write this down. Go ahead and pause and write it down. Multiply one set of the same numbers. So the same numbers that we had were five and two. Now you could say, oh yeah, we had five and two and five and two. No, you only have to multiply one set of the numbers. So just pick whichever side you like more. And like, all right, we're going to multiply this purple number and that purple number. Okay, but it doesn't matter because 5 times 2 over here is the same thing as 5 times 2 over here, right? Now, so 5 times 2 equals 10. So your greatest common factor is 10. Okay, what does that mean, though? Let's think about this, okay? Let's think about this. So the numbers that we were looking to find the greatest common factor of were 50 and 40. So now let's think, okay? Is 10 a factor of 50 and 40? Yes, it is. You can do 10 times 5 or 10 times 4. Can you think of any factors that go into both 50 and 40 that are bigger than 10? No, because 10 is the greatest common factor. Okay, now onto the back of your capture sheet. You have a bunch more practice problems. Here are all the notes if you need them again. Okay, here we go. We're now going on to the back of the capture sheet. And it has some independent practice problems for you. Go ahead and try them. And then I will put up the solution to the first one on the screen. I'll put the solution up to the first one. Okay? Just the first one and the rest we'll check at another time. Okay, so please um, flip over your paper and get working. Pause the video. When you finish the first one, come back here and check and make sure you did it right. Or if you get stuck, come here and watch this. But pause the video while you work, okay? Alright, you should be finished with the first problem now. 
Okay, you should be finished with the first problem now, which was find the GCF of 72 and 108. Okay? So, I'm going to go fast. I'm going to go fast. All right. Step one, find the factor trace of each of the numbers. These are the prime factorizations you should have found for those two numbers. Step two, find your pairs and circle them. I'm going to use purple again just because. Find the pairs and circle them. All right, we got a two and a two. We got a two and a two. We got a two and a two. We got a three and a three. And now let's check and make sure that that is all the pairs that we can make. Now let's do another check and make sure that the same things are circled on each side. So here we have three twos, right? Three twos and one three. And here we have three twos and one three. Perfect. Now we take one set of them and multiply And what do we get? If you don't know, well, you should be able to do that math. Um, but we'll check on the calculator just because we can. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 equals 24. 24. So. Our greatest common factor should be 24. All right. Um, I lied. I'll do all. Uh, I'll show the solution to one more problem. Go ahead and please start working on um, pr uh, the next problem on the back. The next problem on your independent practice sheet. Okay. This is this is the work here that we got. Oops. This is the work that we have for the first problem on the back. And here's the second problem on the back. I'll show the solution, but pause the video and try and do it on your own. If you get stuck, you can watch. And when you're ready for the answer, then you can watch. Pause it. Okay, you should have done the second problem now. The one where you had the numbers... Um, let me see what you have. 27 and 81. I'm going to do the, oops, wrong colors. I'm going to do the factor trees now again pretty quickly. Okay. Ooh, lots of threes. Okay. Now we're going to do our step two, circling the pairs. On your, on your steps, if you want to change step number two to say um, something about pairs, I think pairs is a good word, spelled like so. A pair is a set of two. So we're going to take this set of threes, okay? another pair of threes and another pair of threes and then this guy's lonely right very sad okay alrighty so we've got our pairs now we're going to take one set take one set three times three times three well three times three is nine times three is twenty seven 